Hey, today I am here to talk to you a little bit about data literacy and data stories. When we want people to get invested in data visualization and they don't really feel like they're there yet, it can sort of seem like they feel like data people are some other species, you know, like some different breed that they just aren't a part of. Um, but the thing is, everybody is good at reading data. We know this because we've been able to look in, in the research about how our brains work, how our eyes work, how our whole bodies work, and how they're built to recognize patterns. We're really good pattern recognizers. We just don't always think about applying that pattern recognition to graphs, but it does inherently make us all natural born graph readers. We just need to tell people a little bit about how. So when we train people on data literacy, we often talk to them about how to learn to read charts, how to learn to decode charts, and how when people are looking to decode a chart, they're usually looking for one of four basic stories. So if we can figure out what the data stories are, what people should be looking for when they're looking at data, we can help raise the data literacy of the folks who might feel like they're not really part of our group yet. So I'm gonna tell you today about one of those data stories and I'll come back in other sessions and tell you about others, but I'm gonna start with a very basic data story, least most. Least most is where people are asking very basic questions like, what was the most? What was the least? What was most popular? What was most frequently used? What was not very frequently used? Those are extremely common questions that can help us solve some of our major organizational um, dilemmas and situations. So people are looking to the data for those solutions. Most least is a very common uh, question that people have. So that's what they're gonna be looking for when they're reading our charts. That's the data story that they're seeking out most least. And so, certain chart types are going to be able to elevate that better than others. For example, a basic bar chart in order, in a greatest to least order, does a very good job of speaking to those most least data stories that our audiences have. So when we can figure out what those basic data stories are, it can help tell our audiences how to read charts a little bit better and then also tells the data designers what chart types to feed people so that it taps into those basic data stories they're gonna have in the first place. All right, so I'll come back in another session. We'll talk about some of the other data stories that are out there. But remember, the first one is most least. Bar charts in order are a great basic way to do that. Of course, you can always take that into other chart types that might be more um, sophisticated or elevated, but nothing wrong with a really good looking bar chart.